guys, I am going to start pulling together some travel things for our little trip down to Kansas City this weekend. And I figured I would show you some of my favorite things as I pull them out. Just some of my like must haves for traveling with young children. My boys are currently 15 months and a little over two and a half years old. So, so my first travel must have is this little travel crib from Guava Family. This is a brand. This was the boy's like bassinet. Well, Link and I just put him into a crib from the beginning in our room. But Theo, since I had his crib in his room, um, there's a bassinet attachment for this. And that's what his like bedside bassinet was for the first six months. But this is just super compact. I think it's like 13 pounds. It comes with like little backpack straps that you can, you know, either hide away or use. And it's small enough to like carry on to a plane. But I always just check it. And then going along with that is this like blackout crib cover. Um, just got it off of Amazon. It's super stretchy. I think it's more meant for like pack and plays, but it works perfectly and it completely covers the crib. And then it has like a little zip on the top um, where you can kind of like put them in and out and then cover them up. And I find my boys sleep better when it's dark. It is a sound machine. This is just the little like portable one. It's the Rome one. Most of this stuff in my Amazon storefront, but this is great because if you're just like at the hotel or Airbnb, you can just plug it in. But if you're like on the go, it doesn't need to be plugged in and it's got like seven hours or so of runtime. Depending on the length of the trip, I try to put all the stuff for me and the boys in like one suitcase just because it's less things to have to like get out of the car, the check-in counter or to fit in your car. But when I'm flying, I will put like diapers, maybe beach towels or whatever it is like in the car seat like checked bag. So it's not like everything you own has to go in here. Obviously it's a little bit different when you're doing a road trip because you just have like the space of your car. A huge fan of packing cubes. I've had these ones for years and I usually will do like one for me and then started doing like one for each boy. Um, I only have two right now up here so I need to go grab more, but it's just nice to have like everything separate. I find that it always helps to do laundry before you pack and pick outfits because your favorite items are most likely going to be in the laundry um but i got all the boys stuff once the laundry finishes i'll pack for myself but theo is pretty much potty trained now minus naps and bedtime um but a few things for that is we're going to be gone for two nights and like two days but i'm going to bring like all of the underwear because he still has accidents every now and then um, and I also it's with my in-laws right now because they have the all but this little portable like foldable potty seat that just suction cups on top of normal toilet seats but it folds up like this big um, and so it's really easy to put in a diaper bag as many of these things that I can as I can I will link I have a few diaper bags actually I only have two diaper bags I have my like faux leather one that is kind of my like at home day-to-day -day bag but I find that one can kind of be a bit bulky and like these straps are padded. It just has like more compartments and sometimes better access. I always bring this one when I'm traveling and going along with like diaper stuff. My friend gave these to me like way back when I had Theo, but I don't use them that often. But these are super nice for traveling and I'm not normally like a plastic gal. Um, but they are like little diaper bags. If you're out and about and an accident happens and you need somewhere to put clothes, great option. You can also use Ziploc bags for that, but also like dirty diapers. These are really nice on an airplane because I feel like kids, you always, there's like so many just wipes, snack wrappers, whatever it is. And so I will like hook one of these onto Theo's car seat on the plane. Um, and just like as we have wipes or snack wrappers and fill on here. And then at the end of the flight, when they're doing their final walkthrough with the bag, I hand this to them instead of like, let me scoop out all this garbage from all the seat back pockets and all that stuff. So use these sparingly, but they're really nice. A little clip on portable fan if you have a child that it runs hot or if you have a baby because babies can't regulate their own temperature. Um, so it's really important if you're going somewhere warm, make sure you're keeping them cool. Be careful with strollers or car seats um, like the baby infant car seats, especially when you put the, the canopy up to block the sun, that just becomes a little hot box. And so make sure you have airflow in there, make sure they don't have too many layers on, and make sure you're like taking them out of there because it gets really hot and sweaty in there. Some people are anti-screen time and I'm totally fine with that. Like you can, you don't have to do this, but I find it's very helpful to have, especially on an airplane, like 
Theo 100% gets his iPad on the airplane. We only let him have his iPad when we're traveling. But this is so nice, so nobody has to listen to your child. <laughs> Bring headphones so nobody has to listen to your child's show because they're annoying. Download some shows, some movies, some games, and just, this is a great time to utilize technology. This next one doesn't pertain to traveling in a car, but if you're taking your baby's car seat, we have to obviously buy Theo his own seat because he's two and a half on airplanes. We bring his car seat onto the plane and hook it in, like not hook it in, strap it into the plane seat with, you know, the airplane seat belt. There's a learning curve to figuring out how to get on and off the plane with it, the smoothest way possible, and it definitely is more work, but it having them strapped in is amazing. I don't know what at what age they don't wriggle out of like seats or not want to sit down, but having them strapped in in a familiar, comfortable spot, it's not any different than the car. They're there, you don't have to worry about them, and they like it more. And then it acts as a like stroller throughout the airport. You just strap them into their car seat and strap them onto here, and we face him. Um, backwards so he's like facing his own seat because he kicks seats and we don't want him to be a little jerk and kick the people in front of him so i'm editing this video right now and there's one more item i need to add that i used this weekend and it actually was awesome it wasn't my intended purpose for this it was my messy garage but one of these foldable collapsible um cart things let me show you so I brought this because we are going to my niece's like soccer games and I was like, oh, this would be nice to like get stuff from the car. But you know what it's great for? Getting stuff from your car into the hotel because I hate those like hotel carts, whatever. So what do we like this? And we were able to fit all of our luggage, travel crib, pillows, blankets, everything in this cart. And then you get into the hotel room and you just zink it back up a car hack is just with like kids in general have a little garbage can in your car this sits on the floor where i can like reach it it's usually behind the like passenger seat and i have like a little plastic bag in here car travel a big just cooler bag and i just put them behind the passenger seat and the driver's seat for easy access with all the snacks and all the food a compact travel stroller this is like so freaking light and it folds up into nothing. A few items I just wrote down on this old receipt because I'm not gonna go get them because they're easily explainable. Snacks, just bring all the snacks for you for the kids for dad because he's not gonna pack them himself. Snacks make everyone happy. Like the number of tantrums and meltdowns I have fixed with a snack. Um, using FaceTime as a baby monitor. So between your phone and an iPad, a phone and a phone, a phone and a laptop, you just, sanitizing wipes, hand sanitizers. Kids touch everything and there's some good like natural immunity out there, but we don't need to be licking the things on the airplane. Water bottles, bring your water bottle, bring their water bottle, like make sure everyone's hydrated. And then pacifier clips. Um, and like my just tips for like airport, getting on an airplane, that sort of stuff. Like. How are you going to carry or wheel or walk your child? It's nice to just have something to contain them and to like move them when they don't want to walk themselves. Lincoln is either in a carrier or that little stroller and Theo is almost always in that like car seat dolly. Well, before you start packing, think through the number of like bags you're gonna have because you only ha can carry so many bags on your shoulders. Wheel so many things, carry so many things, push, whatever like you only have so many hands check as much stuff as you can that is my biggest piece of advice check as much stuff as you can how are you going to get everything from the ticket counter through security to the plane think through getting on and off the plane especially if you have strollers bring you're bringing a car seat on the plane it takes practice and like thinking through like how you're going to carry things sounds silly but it makes a big difference i promise you is when you're flying it depends on the length of the vacation but sometimes buying stuff there just makes it easier hit up a thrift store once at your destination and spend like five to ten dollars for a couple of toys probably not even ten dollars probably like five dollars to get a couple toys i promise you getting a couple fire engines or trucks or blocks or whatever it is is going to make the world of difference to give your kids something to play with instead of like tearing apart whatever getting into stuff they shouldn't be getting into drinking water out of the toilet just get them a couple toys and that is what i have to say about all of my like travel must-haves tips 
there's so much more but i find this stuff fascinating i love planning for trips i love like making things easier these are some of the ways that i've done that thank you so much for watching i hope you guys learned something and i'll see you guys in my next video bye